the school day was very grim for a small East Mountains community facing even more heartbreak now. Investigators found three teens dead in what they're calling a tragic accident over the weekend. Tamara Lopez is outside Moriarty High School with us tonight. And Tamara, uh, the reality of this really sat in today when kids returned to school. Tessa, that's right. And today we did confirm that all three teens were students here at Moyarty High School and the students returned just hours after Edgewood police say they found the three teens in a garage and they already were dead when those police officers arrived. Now, Edgewood police say that the teens appear to have died from carbon monoxide poisoning, but at this time they do not suspect any foul play. Now, according to Edgewood police, they say that they saw a propane heater in the garage and that may be the source of the carbon monoxide poisoning. Now, they are still, of course, investigating, but say it seems to be, like you said, just a tragic accident at this point, which is just another one for the small, tight knit community. It's hard. You know, it's hard for not only the first responders, of course, but everybody, everybody in this little town or they all know each other, they're all related, or they um, know each other's kids because they're juveniles. They're, they're not going to release any of the names and trying to be careful of that, cautious of that. And, you know, their, their ages, from my understanding, they have different age ranges. And, you know, this is not the first time this community has felt a loss of some of its younger members. Back in 2020, two brothers were killed in a head-on collision, and they were also Moyarty High School students. Now, tonight on the Night Beat, we hear from school officials about how they'll be dealing with another tragic loss. Tessa, back to you. All right,